Welcome. Chronic shoulder issues go hand in hand with cumulative trauma disorder, poor posture, rounded shoulder. Understand that when we're in this position, texting, typing, writing, looking down, driving, you're narrowing in the joint. You're pronating the shoulders forward, giving the joint less space to function and work. Therefore, the tendons, the ligaments, the tissues, as well as the bursa, which runs underneath the tendon, particularly the subacromial bursa, becomes inflamed and irritated on. What happens is when the shoulder starts to dysfunction or start to uh, break down, a very common area starts to compromise or compensate. It's where the deltoids attach into. It's called the deltoid tuberosity. As you see here in the deltoid tuberosity, that area is where the deltoids seem to insert into, attach right into, and that is one of the key trigger points to release shoulder discomfort, bursitis, adhesive capsulitis. Those issues with your shoulder, any problem, by the way, with your shoulder, I would always try this technique first or along with what you're doing before you do anything invasive. And there are a couple of things uh, that I'm going to teach uh, in addition to what I've done in the past. I've done this video uh, quite a long time ago, but I'm going to add a few extra things I think that will help expedite the healing process and get you feeling a lot better. Uh, most important thing is locating the deltoid tuberosity. The deltoid tuberosity, as you see on this picture right here, you can see that area, uh, which is right here, it comes and it fans into this area, it attaches right here. That is the area that we're going to contact. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your thumb and put it underneath the arm like this. And you can take these fingers, whichever two fingers or three fingers, whatever you like to do. You can use a couple of fingers and just kind of, two fingers should be suffice, but come over that deltoid tuberosity and just grab it. Now, what I want you to do is put your arm by your side, put it on your leg and relax the muscle. And I want you to get in there right now and go in little circular movements like this, okay? Little circular movements right over it. Now, it's going to be sore. It's going to be very tender, which is good. We're going to break down that particular region that's going to send uh, uh, releasing points to the brain to the, tell the brain to allow those muscles to relax. There are trigger points. There's a lot of uh, sensory points in here. There's a lot of other neurological involvement that happens in this area. But by stimulating this point right here on the deltoid tuberosity, this is going to actually increase the mobility of your shoulder. Now, as you do that about a minute, relax your arm and just go ahead and lift it. You're going to say, wow. Oh my goodness, wow, I can, I can really feel a big, big difference. Now, we're going to try to increase that range of motion even more. Grab onto it again. And this time what I want you to do, I want you to uh, just bring your arm like this, just up and down, just from your elbow. It doesn't have to be at 90 degrees, but just hold it as you move it back and forth, okay? Just keep holding it, because as you bring your arm down and up like this, okay, what you're doing is we're putting kinetic uh, movement, we're putting movement into that area as we're actively mobilizing that, that region of that deltoid to release it more. You'll do that about 30 seconds or so. Now what I want you to do, I want you to uh, take your, your, put it by your side, and I want you to do the action of the deltoid. The action of the deltoid is to just abduct it like this. So I want you to hold on to that area, hold it tight, and just abduct it. Now when you abduct it to the top, just put a little more pressure right in that area. Just hold on to that area. Good. So now we're actively using it. These are the specific muscles of the deltoid. Okay, now understand if you have a lot of pain, bursitis, frozen shoulder, you may not be able to come this high. You may be able to come this high. That's okay. Just go this high if you had to. I want you to move it as much as you can because now we're trying to increase mobility. We're trying to tell the brain, hey, listen, we're trying to trick the brain to release this muscle to, so we can get more increased mobility. Beautiful. Now after you drop it, now go ahead and raise your arm up. You'll feel a tremendous difference. A lot of you may not even be able to put your arm over your head, but even after that technique, immediately many of you will say, wow, I can almost put it completely up over my head and I haven't been able to do that and I cannot remember. So do that technique, that deltoid 
release, deltoid tuberosity release. It's a great safe technique, a way to increase mobility back into the shoulder because when you have any shoulder pathology, the worst thing we can do is nothing. When that thing stay, stays frozen, big problems. So share this video with others. Leave your comments below. There are thousands of people who read these comments. I ask you to subscribe if you haven't so you can continue to receive the best of the self-help videos here on the internet. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.